Welcome guys and it is NCHD Gaming here and today I'm bringing you guys my review of Uncharted 4. Quick funny little moment, I just recorded the whole of my review, really pleased with it. And I had my microphone muted. So we're going for it again, let's see if we can talk about it. What you're watching in the background is me playing the multiplayer of the game, uh, which I'll talk a little bit about. And it's my the gameplay you're watching is my first ever game on the multiplayer, so that should be a bit of a laugh. As for the multiplayer, we'll just quickly start off with that. No one buys Uncharted for the multiplayer, or a very f small minority buy it for the multiplayer. It's a fun little addition, it's not going to keep me playing long, but I love what they've done. They've introduced taunts, all these sort of things that have always been there, but you know, it's quite good. I enjoy it. Would I say it's a great multiplayer game? No. It's just there as an added layer to try and get you to play the game longer. For me, I'm just going to go replay the story again, because that's how much I enjoyed the story. But yeah, let's get into the story because that's what you're here to see. Of course, it's going to be non-spoilers. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. So we're just going to go through a couple of characters, review that, then the story and the graphics. So let's start off with the story. We are on a search for Henry Avery's treasure. And we have a brother, Sam, who we thought was dead. Actually turns out to be alive. And we're going to start off with Sam, that dead brother. We knew this going into it, so it's not a spoiler. I feel like he was really forced upon us within this Uncharted franchise because if you've played 1, 2 and 3 you will know that there's been never any inkling that Drake had an older brother and I find it very difficult even in a video game to submerge my belief that he would have never mentioned him throughout those three. And for that, that does hinder the game slightly for me. It feels like they, they were like, we need a new character, we need a new protagonist, Sully's getting on in age, he can't do all the same stuff he used to, let's, you know, just give him a brother. That's what it felt like to me at the beginning. And throughout the game, they didn't do anything to me, or for me, I should say, that endeared me towards Sam. If anything, towards the end of the game, due to events that go on throughout, I started to realise how egotistical and self-centered Sam was he didn't realize throughout the game that Nathan us we were sacrificing everything and he was sacrificing very little in comparison and there was never really a give-and-take and even though we were working together the the realistic end goal of what was to be achieved just wasn't there because he wanted this and he didn't care what it cost to get it. And ultimately, it made me have a very different out view on him. I wasn't a big fan of Sam. And he's meant to be my brother. Quite frankly, if I had the choice, I would have ditched Sam. And just gone home to Elena. And th that brings me on to Elena. I've never been a fan of Elena. But throughout this, because of the story arc. And how well written, may I add, the story is. I felt real emotion towards her. And that we were doing wrong by her. And it, it just endeared me to her character. And now I'm a huge fan of Elena. I wasn't such a big fan over the rest of the Uncharted uh, series of all the other installments, but now I am. And that's credits to Naughty Dog. They they know how to endear you to characters. And uh, even though some people like Elena, I think they use this game to really put it in there. That's why you should like Elena. And for me, they did that with great success. Of course, Sully's in the game. He is more of a, a cameo role, coming in every now and then. But every time he comes in, you feel that connection to him, you love him, you think this is awesome, he's hilarious. Just so good to see him back in Uncharted again. You know, just every time you see him, Sully in Un Uncharted, you're just like, yes! And that, that continues. As for the villains of Uncharted 4, we have Wraith and we have Nadine. Now Nadine is a, obviously a female character and she is a strong as fuck character. I don't think she ever loses a fight really, she just beats everyone up. Absolute tank of a woman. I don't even know if there's a, a more, quite frankly, better specimen. She's, she's like a Ronda Rousey or of the video game really, like she kicks everyone's ass. And I don't know if there's another character like that, that is female, that literally does it 100% of the time throughout other games. I, I really liked it. You could see there was conflicts with her throughout the game, 
and you could clearly sense the emotional conflict and I, I like that and she stayed loyal to her beliefs you, you can sense what her beliefs are through the way she acts and the way she speaks and what she says they are sometimes and she sticks to them throughout the whole game and you've got to give credit to it as for Rafe of course he is someone who was working with us and our brother previously to find Henry Avery's treasure and he's got some really emotional problems and it worked out well because he wasn't your stereotypical I'm just a bad guy I'll kill everyone boom 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 didn't get the treasure I died boom he really did feel like as much as there was that element to him there was that comedy element to him as well and there was a dark element to him and there was that conflicting side to him but ultimately every time in, in reference to Star Wars he always went to the dark side of everything you know so I really liked him I think he's one of the best villains in the Uncharted series and that Naughty Dog really did the the character justice and you got to give him credit for that. As for the story, finding Henry Avery's, Henry Avery, the pirate's treasure, there wasn't as many puzzles as there are in some of the other Enchanted games, and it certainly wasn't as hard as the other ones, although I got stuck, as you will see through my walkthrough, if you have decided to watch all the videos that come out after this review's out. I did get stuck a few times, but nowhere near as much as I did in other ones, and relatively, once you discovered what it was that you had to do, and you figured it out, even if that took a little while, once you figured it out, they were quite easy to then eventually get done. So I'd like to see one of those big, you know, rooms where you've got so many challenges to do. I love those in Uncharted 1 and 2. They were fantastic. And I would like them to do that again. But they didn't. And it, it didn't take anything away from the game. It would just be nice to see something like that again. But the actual story of Henry Avery, the pirate, and he teams up with other pirates and they've got this whole utopia land and he's got a place called New Devon where he lives because obviously he's from Devon England and it's just it, you, mm, mm, that might be a bit of a spoiler actually well no if you googled he's from yeah that's not really a spoiler actually no it doesn't ruin anything to do with the story but and it's, it's just fantastic and you find out a lot about Henry Avery and of course a lot of it's going to be fictional because not fictional non fiction I don't know what if a lot of it is just not true because we don't know what happened to Henry Avery in real life. But I love the way they use that mystery behind him, created their own story. And my God, the story was well delivered. Absolutely enjoyed it. The Another thing that they really did well was obviously, and I feel dumb for saying it, but I've got to say it, is the visuals. There were times in that game when I was in Madagascar, when I was here, where I'm just looking and I'm like, wow. What is this? Where does this come from? It is by far the best graphical game I have seen on a console. And it's key to say console, not PC. Because obviously it wouldn't be for PC. But for console, by far and away, they blew graphics wide out the water. Incredible. And once again, you've just got to give Naughty Dog credit. Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, The Last of Us, and now Uncharted 4, and hopefully The Last of Us 2. They nail their games to an absolute T. Every time they just get that bat and they knock it straight out of the park. And you've got to give them credit for that. You really do. The only other thing I didn't like is they, they added new elements, which I did enjoy, like the rope swinging and stuff like that. But there was so much climbing. Eventually you're like, oh, I just don't want to climb anymore. I don't want to work out where to go on this climb. I'm done. But that's part of the Uncharted series. Um... And once you did kind of get a little bit tired of that, then there was a cut scene and some action and it took you away. So it wasn't really a big downside for me. So overall, I'm just going to rate this game 9 out of 10. I would love to give it a 10 out of 10, but I can't because of Sam and the way he felt forced upon me in the game. And, you know, that's really all that stops it from being 10. If you like adventure games, pick it up. If you like adventure wait did I just say adventure games I think I did if you like adventure games action games story based games just visual spectacles puzzles ah oh, you just have to get this game and I know this is very much hyping the game up but Uncharted has such a big hype anyway that even if you go into it with super high expectations it delivers 
Okay, they don't bring out much mechanically and technical that's new to the gaming industry, but the actual game itself is a fantastic instalment, and I don't think you'll find many people that will disagree with that. If they do, they're not true big, not true Uncharted fans, but they're not big Uncharted fans. If you're a big Uncharted fan, this game delivers on pretty much every front that you wanted it to deliver on. Uh, and th and that is purely the reason. I, I just it, even though Sam does that and he kind of feels forced, you still got to give it at least a nine out of ten. That's going to be it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, may Drake, the rest of the Uncharted cast, and the Force, I suppose as well, since we're on a Star Wars channel, be with you. <laughs>